Yo, what's going on guys? Akeem here and in today's Fix Up Entertainment news, new Spider-Verse villains revealed, the new Thor Love and Thunder posters look unreal, and Knives Out 2 is set to kill. Again. It also just killed my damn rhyme scheme, but whatever. Let's drop it. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse has two villains, Miles Morales and the Spidey crew, will be contending with when part one arrives June 2nd of 2023. Now revealed at the Annecy International Film Festival over the weekend and shared on the official Spider-Verse Twitter handle, we see Miles and Gwen take on The Spot. Yeah, that's his name, The Spot. Now, according to the post, The Spot is not only a thing that you can't remove from your pants, but it's also a deep cut into Spider-Man's rogues gallery, but it's also apparently one of his most formidable foes to date that you've never heard of. Now, The Spot made his debut back in 1985 in Spectacular Spider-Man issue number 98. Now, what makes him such a formidable foe is the fact that he can tear open interdimensional portals, and in the photo release, you can see him using his powers to have Miles accidentally kick Gwen right in the face. Now, The Spot will be voiced by actor Jason Schwartzman. Now, he's not the only villain making an appearance, though. The Vulture will be swooping right on in to wreak havoc within the Spider-Verse, voiced by Jorma Tacone from the Lonely Island of SNL fame. Now, Sony Pictures Animation tweeted that this version of the Vulture is anachronistic in nature, so definitely a different and unique spin on the villain. Now, as things continue to develop, we'll likely see more cast announcements and character reveals, and I can't wait to see them. Now, more Marvel-related news sees us laying down the hammer on these new Thor Love and Thunder character posters. We got two goats right there. Now, featuring everyone from Gore the God Butcher to these epic goats, we got a very good glimpse of each Marvel figure in all of their glory. Now, my personal favorites are, I gotta say, the Mighty Thor and Valkyrie because they look so damn buff. I'd spot either of them in the gym any day. But we'll all get to spot Thor Love and Thunder in theaters July 8th. And finally, Netflix revealed the title for Knives Out 2, and it's far from what you might think it'd be. Instead of going with the obvious title of Knives Out 2, Two Knife to Handle, it's called Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery. You've got returning cast member Daniel Craig along with Dave Bautista joining in with the likes of Edward Norton, Ethan Hawke, and many more. Now the name of Glass Onion is a Beatles song off the White Album continuing the tradition of borrowing names of songs from iconic bands as Knives Out is a 2001 Radiohead jam. That's right, y'all remember that song. Knives out, I never heard it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, the sequel's release date is still a bit of a mystery itself, but it'll be coming to Netflix sometime this holiday season. And that was your Fix of Entertainment news for today, y'all. I'm Akeem Watson, and thank you so much for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous episode talking about the upcoming HBO series, The Last of Us. Download the IGN app on all your devices. For everything else, stick with IGN.